Welcome to New Hampshire's Business. I'm Fred Coker. In a minute, we're going to talk to the newest startup business in New Hampshire. But first, look at this graphic from the Kauffman Foundation, a national group, uh, saying the business startup activity in the U.S. rose for the first time in five years during 2015, with the largest year-over-year -year increase in the past two decades. That's amazing. Here in New Hampshire, uh, the SBA in Concord, the Small Business Administration Office in Concord, says that their uh, retired executives, the SCORE chapter, has uh, helped about 257 uh, businesses, startups in New Hampshire last year. And private investors have helped about 198 businesses over the last three years. So we have a lot of startup activity in New Hampshire. But here's the newest one in New Hampshire. Take a look. Vera Roasting Company on the seacoast. They make Coffee V, C-O-F-F-V-E-E. -E. We'll talk about that in a minute. Coffee beans infused with resveratrol from red wine. Resveratrol is a natural antioxidant, minus the alcohol, and the first production sold out, and they're producing more. With me to talk about this are uh, Mark Galvin, the Managing Director of the New England Innovation Center. Mark, welcome. Thank you. And Glenn Miller, founder of the Vera Roasting Company on the Seacoast, and also a professor of organic chemistry at the University of New Hampshire. Welcome. Thank you, Fred. Where did you get this idea? Well, Wine uh, into coffee. As you mentioned, resveratrol is a potent antioxidant in red wine. And uh, there's been a lot of work over the years linking red wine to heart health in particular. Um, folks may be aware of the French paradox where the French as a population have a low uh, incidence of coronary heart disease despite the fact that they have a diet that's rich in saturated fats and this is widely attributed to red wine. Uh, in the last 10 or 15 or 20 years there have been literally hundreds of studies uh, about the health benefits of red wine, and those studies all seem to point the finger at resveratrol. And we're going to drink some of this coffee in a minute, and we're going to show the, uh, how you put this together. But Mark, uh, Glenn is based in your New England Innovation Center in Portsmouth, and what do you do to help Glenn get this business started? Because you've done it for a number of businesses. Yeah, well, you know, we're really trying to get, help get the New Hampshire economy going, and uh, I met Glenn at the New Hampshire Innovation Commercialization, uh, which I started with UNH back in 2010 on a, on a prior company we worked on together. Right. And when he came up with this idea, he showed up at our doorstep uh, and uh, collaborated with the team at our center. And, and, you, pre and you provide expertise uh, to a new company plus funding, right? Yeah, not so much funding. We help get funding when it's necessary, okay. but what we do is we, we basically fill in all the gaps in the uh, startup team. Okay, now, Glenn, let's walk through this. Here we have grapes, mm -hmm. we have coffee beans right here in my hand, and we have the finished product in this thermos and in our cups. Just talk about how this all comes together. So grapes are found naturally in several places, there but are. one of them... I said grapes, I'm sorry, resveratrol is found naturally in several places, one of them being the skins of red grapes. Right. So the resveratrol can be extracted from the skins of red grapes, and we've discovered a method to infuse it into a coffee bean. Into these coffee beans right here? Correct. And uh, then we have the final, and then you roast it, you roast the coffee beans. Well, the, the beans are roasted first, and then the, the infusion process oh, takes place. Oh, it's afterwards. Place. Yes, it's after the roasting. Okay. And, uh, and then y you arrive at the final product, Cough V, which we sell in either a medium roast or a dark roast. Cough V, C-O-F-F-E-V-E-E. -E -E. The V for Vera? The V for Vera Roasting and the Vera from Resveratrol. Oh, from Resveratrol. Now you had a, your first production line was sold out and you've now had some more production lines. Where are you selling this? We're selling it online at veraroasting.com. Veraroasting.com, right. And um, <coughs> this, uh, let's drink it. Let's drink some coffee. <laughs> I want to taste it right here and, and tell the audience uh, how good it is. What is it? That's delicious. That's delicious. Thank you, Fred. Thank you. And that's the mild. That's the medium roast. The that medium you're roast, but you also have French roast, right? We have a dark French roast as well. Our medium roast uh, in a double blind taste test beat the leading medium roast five to one, and our dark French roast beat the leading dark French roast seven to one. Quickly, what's the potential market for this in about 10 seconds? Coffee's a $4 billion industry. Okay, that, that, that says it all. <laughs> uh, okay, Glenn. Um, Glenn uh, Miller, who is the founder of Vera Roasting Company on the Seacoast, 
And Mark Galvin, Managing Director of the New England Innovation Center, thanks, and good luck with this. You're going to be selling this at Christmas time. Yeah, we just want to let you know that if orders are in by uh, Monday at 2.30 in the afternoon, it will be delivered in time for Christmas. At veraroasting.com, V-E-R-A roasting.com. Okay, yes, sir. thank you. Thank, thank you, you very much. If you want to see this interview again and watch us sip some coffee, you can go to WMUR.com, click on News, and then click on Project Economy.